at number four. I had told my husband to back it up yesterday, but he didn't listen. So now, look how deep we're in. We are sinking in. I told him so, but he didn't listen. Do, 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 do. Yo. The hell we at? Y'all, so we just got here to these dunes. That just hurt something. Might be time to go. Baby, baby, yeah. Baby, baby, yeah. Uh, love me like Juju. Uh -huh. You touch me, I do know. Yo, what's good, y'all? Today is Monday. It's a fresh week. We are in Phoenix, Arizona. We drove about like two hours yesterday from that boondocking site we were at. As y'all saw, we actually came and stayed at a friend's here because we were tired. We needed to wash clothes and we had a friend that actually came up to the boondocking site. She is thinking about doing RV life. So she just came to hang out, check it out. So she said, yo, if y'all want to come by and stay the night by the house, wash clothes, get cleaned up. So we did that last night and luckily we could park like right in this business parking lot that was empty and today's a holiday so we're getting ready to head on take off and head south and continue this trip man so yeah say what up say what's up to the vlog hi janine is our amazing friend she let us moonstock at her home and had such an amazing time wash clothes all yeah, the good stuff wash clothes, hang out, <laughs> yeah upload videos yeah so it was cool in quality time Relax. we'll see you soon in an rv right Bye, guys yes definitely RV or van life, we don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, girl. I had a great time. Thank you. Me too. Thank you, guys. So we just arrived at Hotwell Dunes in Safford, Arizona. Look at Tim setting up. I don't think we're gonna unhook because there's no place to go for miles. So we're just gonna sit here and just chill and vibe. We are meeting with our friends that we met in Northern Arizona. They're actually set camp, right? Well, we're setting camp right next to them because they were here from yesterday. And we're just gonna hang out and vibe and do some fire and cook and just chill. here to these dunes we met up with our friends that we met in sedona this is what we did in sedona they got a can-am that they let us use i just heard something might be time to go but we checking out these dunes and they're pretty tight man this is our first time ever doing something like this these are the perks of meeting people on the road man and good people it's like yeah take it out man i don't care whatever there's a lot of flies here a lot of bucks <laughs> damn try to find my finger oh you're gonna be able to see it we're like right around there so we'll do this and then either later on today or tomorrow we're gonna check out the hot wells and get in some hot water later on when it's warmer because it was really when it's hot. later and it cools down yeah because it's hot out here man we in the desert man <laughs> awesome yo because we just pulled up rv life you gonna dance again wow. dance dance wow. party pooper yo tomorrow we're gonna show y'all the hot wells they right over there somewhere yeah gonna be going to this park and it ends up not happening and she really want to go there that's the end of it yeah it is man like things change like you oh i want to stop at this park like you want to stop at that park or come to do come and do this like i have planners 
You have plans on what? Can't see oh. it. You have plans something that you didn't tell me. Uh, the sanguero, I had you watch a video about it. I never watched it. Video, yes, you, you did. About? You yeah, didn't did. see the San Guido National Park video? No. Yes, you did. Were you putting that video while I was driving? Yes. So how am I going to watch it? You heard it. Bay. How Ooh. am I going to watch something? I think you need to raise your voice, Tim, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Put my foot down right now. Uh, With your sandals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my gay sandals. Hey, man. <laughs> you don't like my Jesus sandals, bro? My Birkenstock? I don't mind changing plans. RVing, I don't mind. RVing I don't you have to change plans. plans. No way plans are not going to change. Like I agree. I, I when agree when did we that, ever plan that we were going to be here? When have we planned the whole trip? Exactly. We're just going with the flow. We had the only things but we had to do. But when I have my mindset, I want to stop somewhere. I want to stop somewhere. I'm the navigator. Okay. So? That's you another might, thing. You might end like, up in Mexico for all you know. You don't even appreciate me driving all this drive. And you don't appreciate me being the navigator. Really, I can put something in the GPS. That's not a problem. No, you can. You will be, okay. be in Texas. Okay. Are you, this is are you guys really fighting right now? No, we're not fighting. We're just bickering. We were going to go to a park to see, like, cactus. And we did that last year. I last wanted time. to go see cactus. Oh, you know me? <laughs> you want? Bro, <laughs> time out. It's a national park. Millie, how many national I'm parks sure have you been there's to? More than Look at the experience we're having right now. You talking about you be? It was just a quick stop. Then we would have got here later. John said, "Do not come late." I did not say that. Don't put me in this. <laughs> John, you did say don't come. I didn't even time. invite you. He's like, "Oh, we're on ten anyway. Let's get, let's go." <laughs> John it's goes, tough. "Hey, I have GPS on you guys. I can tell you guys I haven't left yet." Yeah, I'm six, like, six thirty-three. This was like at so seven. What are you doing at six thirty-three? I thought you like. Anyways, y'all, this is this relationship. Man, like this is the shit that happens, bro. Like, you get along, then you don't get along. I'm in. I'm stuck. You're stuck. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get John to pull you out. Hopefully, he's awake. You made it. <laughs> you made it to. <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's a little tricky because I had to go this way and I had to go fast. Well, good morning. Yep, you're stuck. I got, don't worry, I'm not, I'm not four-wheel drive myself. I only have two-wheel drive. And John said, you know, if we get stuck, he'll just pull us out. Who? John. He's got his truck. Four-wheel. Four-wheel drive. Well, hopefully, I mean, he got stuck too. And someone else had to pull him out. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. We were camping in Sedona, and you remember our friend Nabil? Hey guys. He went to he went to uh, Grand Canyon. He said it was like twenty something degrees, right? Twenty two. Twenty two degrees in the Grand Canyon. So we were here. We said, hey, we're we're down south. It's hot. It was like in the seventies yesterday, and he just came, and it's cold. It's like in the fifties. Oh man, I haven't gone to the hot springs yet, but I'm hoping to do so in a few right over there. But yeah, we gotta get them pulled out. Yeah, guys. So if you come out to the Hot World Dunes, if you don't have, if you're, you're not, not four wheel drive, you gotta be real careful. Yeah, when he first came, he got stuck. There were some other people camping and got him out. We were hoping for some sun today, man. And it's freaking overcast, and it's in the 50s, the low 50s. It's cold, man. Pretty deep in there. He's out. Keep going. Bring the seal out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you get stuck out here. All right, so we're moving the bill right here. It's a little bit commercial. Let's show see real quick. That's that four-wheel drive. Yeah, I should have got it. You I got can. water and everything. Oh man, you got yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Lots of things. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah. All right, let me help you. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go check out these hot tubs and see what it's like. Kind of warmed up a bit. It's still in the 50s, but it's not too cold to where you walk out, you're gonna die. Millie's getting ready. So the hot tubs here are only good when the light's out. When the night falls, there's a solar panel that operates the pump that pumps the springs into the hot tub. We were hoping at nighttime we can go in, but you can't always get what you want.
So I'm here. What's up, boys? Huh? A date. Oh, you're having a date? Oh, am I breaking the date? All right. That's fine for us. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, okay, is yeah. that bad? So this is what the tub looks like. It's fresh water every morning from eight to five. So the water starts coming in at like eight in the morning and around five o'clock, they drain it. Got done with the hot tubs. Now we're gonna head back home. How was it, Hope? Hope. How was it? <laughs> the only thing about this BLM is that you have to be careful because there are areas like this one. That are very deep the sand is not compacted and therefore you will get stuck i think we're leaving and it looks like we're stuck so our friend was waiting for us so he can pull us out just in case we did get stuck and yeah that's what's going on so we'll see what happens next i'm trying to figure out where to hook because we don't have the hooks on the front kind of knew this was going to happen but that's why they waited for us so when you come here you have to be very careful where you park if you don't have friends do not attempt this <laughs> This is attempt number tres. So first attempt was with the can -Am. Second attempt, the rope broke. So let's see what happens next. It became a hook. And attempt three failed. If you are here by yourself in the middle of nowhere, because you won't get nowhere, thankfully, um, we have our friends here and the camp host, he says he has something to help pull out because I'm guessing a lot of people get stuck here, especially in the middle. They should have a sign, especially if you're coming at night. You can't see how deep the sand is. Um, you'll be camping in deep sand. Attempt number four. We got our camp host friend, Alan, right there. He brought a chain. Let's see what happens. Men don't listen to women if they would. I had told my husband to back it up yesterday, but he didn't listen. So now, look how deep we're in. We are sinking in. That's all right. They'll learn. I told him so, but he didn't listen. When do men ever listen? <laughs> All right, here goes temp number four. Go, babe. Go, babe. Oh, oh, oh. And we're out. Maybe have a go forward so you're fully out of the sand. And we're out, guys. Thanks to the boys. Sixteenth time you did this. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just go. Your husband's an idiot. Happy birthday oh, to you. Happy birthday.
Hey, got you as a cameraman. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's why you wanted to go to Walmart. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> like, Feliz Navidad? Oh, no, 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 no. Feliz Hurry up. It's, it's outing. Oh, my God. Feliz cumpleaños. Oh, that's Feliz good, Jacqueline. He said Feliz Navidad. Somebody said it. Hey, no, you didn't. There's a lighter it just out, said... It's all out. Dude, there... there's more wax on the cake than, than fudge. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are you going to give him a kiss? What the hell? Lighter. Are you gonna give him a kiss? Yeah. Happy birthday, no Millie. He fucking ruined that one. John, show me something in the camper. <laughs> Is that what you said? No, you blow, 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 blow. blow the fucking. Yeah, there's nothing to blow. Oh. It is more camp. It's fine, man. It's good.